So to start this video off, I want to do a quick recap on this food plot. I either lost or deleted all the footage of um, planting it, so that's why I never came out with a video on it. And uh, you could, I basically sprayed it in early May. It was a first-time food plot with a bunch of grass and goldenrod and just tall weeds. I sprayed it off in early May before all that stuff grew up, and then I ripped it up with the four-wheeler tires, just ripping it round doing figure eights and stuff and then I sprayed again and as you can see it worked out really good this is a first year plot pretty much a no-till plot other than the tires you know tilling up the first inch of dirt or so um, and uh, here it is on opening day of gun so turned out pretty good well out here today just checking out a few cameras um, this is uh, the same property that my dad um, shot his buck on the last two years and uh, this is the only food plot we have here. This is the first year we planted a food plot here too, just in the brassicas. So it's not like my grandparents' farm that has like four to five acres of standing grain. Out here, the deer are actually eating the purple top turnips and they're just tearing them up right now. We're at uh, my grandparents, where I was out there earlier today checking up a few cams too, and they aren't even touching the brassicas right now. They're just eating the beans and corn because it's there. Here, you know, there's no food plots that I'm aware of around the neighboring parcels. All the fields are picked obviously and these deer are just going to town on these brassicas. It's just a really small plot. You can see the marsh back there. It's just wherever all this open where the snow is kind of goes around right there. Just a tiny little kill plot. Um, probably mm, at the most eighth of an acre. I planted the Sweet Feast Brassica blend in here. All these tall ones got ate on a little bit um, this year. There was just more deer browse on these brassicas in general all year long versus the other food plots and my grandparents because, like I said, there's more food out there. Look at that. They used to eat our turnips and stuff at my grandparents until we started planting more corn and soybeans. You can see this one. Man. Just tore up in here. Lots of tracks. I'm actually thinking about trying to expand this plot next year. My trail camera's right here with my vine. But, uh,. I'm actually thinking about expanding this plot maybe that way a little bit, cutting out some brush, making a big pile, and hopefully burning it off next year before I can get in here and plant the brassicas in the summer. I might take out some of that brush right there. It's kind of creeping its way into the plot. But it's not really going to do a whole lot. It's just really interesting to see the difference how much the deer are actually eating on the brassicas out here compared to um, my grandparents where I was earlier today. There's there's tracks in the brassicas, but um, not like this, that's for sure. Really cool to see the difference. I know there's still a big one out here along with um, a couple other decent bucks, but there's only one buck out here that I'd shoot that's, I know for sure, to be at least a five-year-old. All the other ones are like two-year-olds and under. So I probably shouldn't be walking around too much, but I don't plan on getting out here super early, super recent after this. So I'm still got to check a camera in the marsh down there, put some lithium batteries in there and let that one go the whole winter then. Just completely pulling them right out. That one's ate right down to the ground. I'm sure there's plenty of other ones right in here that are just buried in the snow. I planted this stuff pretty thick. It was kind of too thick. I had to come in here and rake out like half of the seeds because everything germinated. It grew, it grew really good. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, here's one. Little one. There wasn't too many really big ones in here because like I said, it was planted a little thick. So next year, I'm going to definitely plant lighter. A little thinner so these turnips can get like softball size these ones are all like tennis balls golf balls and smaller 
but they're definitely eating on them. There probably won't be a whole lot left. Once we get about maybe a foot and a half of snow, um, they probably, they'll probably slow them down because it's going to be hard to dig for them in here, especially when the snow gets uh, really packy like this. And then it'll freeze overnight. We got some really cold temperatures coming. This stuff will be all like ice packed from the deer walking on it and just from being like this nice packy snow. Like right now it's like 35 degrees out. And when you get some colder temperatures, I've always noticed when the snow gets like really ice packed and the deer can't dig down the turnips and just can't really uncover any of the green leaves and they stop eating on the brassicas. But out here they might definitely try and continue to dig around because they don't got anything else to eat. So, yeah, I just want to do a, just want to do a quick update and, because I know that last video I put out, um, you could see that the deer weren't really touching on the, touching the brass, because especially not the purple tap turnips. They were completely, you know, not eating them at all. But out here, it's definitely a different story. I mean, look at this. It's completely shredded. That's probably one of the bigger ones in here. It's like a baseball size. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll put up some of these trail camera pictures right here. Maybe a few more on this property at the end of the video just to, you know, spice it up, I guess. So I'll see you in the next uh, food plot update, probably, unless I got some hunting videos coming out. I don't know what, what I'll see. So yeah, see you in the next video. So these pictures right here, this is from the trail camera right in the food plot there, that Tasco cam. I have a few other cameras on the property, like I said in the video, but uh, I'll just be having these pictures on. Otherwise, I can make a whole video just about pictures. That right there is that big five-year-old nine-point that's still alive. Um, there was a big eight-point four-year-old that I really wanted to either find sheds to or possibly shoot. Um, I had We had found uh, the two previous years of... Uh, both sides off of that big eight pointer but i think he got shot during gun season because i haven't seen him since then but uh anyways a lot of um ton of new bucks have just showed up since gun season i don't know where they're coming from i can't believe a tiny little eighth of an acre brassica plot would be pulling in a whole bunch of brand new bucks but i guess it could be when considering there's not much food around um, but as soon as we got the snow um there's that big uh five-year-old again um, but as soon as we got this recent snowstorm, um, the daylight activity has just popped like crazy. You'll see there was a few daylight pictures, <clears throat> you know, before the snow, but mainly just a lot of nighttime activity. That's a really nice deer. I have his shed from last year, and um, this is the third year of pictures of, I've had of that big boy. But, uh, yeah, you can just see the they're loving that vine there. Without that vine, you know, I'd be getting pictures, but it just stops them right there for a really good picture. Um, overall there really hasn't been a ton of daylight pictures of bucks in the food plot until we get the snows coming you'll see in a little bit here um, yeah I'm really surprised of uh, the difference between the brassicas here versus the brassicas at my grandparents they hardly have touched the turnips at all where here they were digging them around like crazy um, and uh during the rut, there really wasn't consistent um there wasn't even consistent does feeding here. I think they've just been so bumped around by the bucks they don't even want to hit the food plots in the open like that during daylight um It wasn't really I only hunted this plot like two times this year. It wasn't because of hunting pressure I mean no one else there's a lot of other people a lot of other hunters that hunt it, but nobody really intrudes the bedding areas too much. And no one was hunting over my food plot, th that I know of at least, but there really hasn't been a whole lot of daylight activity in the food plot in general, consistent every evening um, movement until right around early um, December and right after gun season when they started getting hungry. But during the rut, I mean, there was bucks moving through here, middle of the day, just random times, obviously, but nothing consistent. It was just like the rut anywhere else, pretty, uh, pretty random, but... Yeah, now they're on it like crazy every evening, every night, tons of different bucks. Um, yeah, it's just really cool to see all the deer sign out there. And I probably walked around a little more than I should have, but I probably won't get back out there for a while now, you know, in, in the bedding areas until probably shed season. I got the all the cameras out there, changed the lithium battery, so they should be good to go. Um, 
yeah, so thanks for watching the video. I'll be having more uh, late season updates coming out, you know, this month or in February here. This food plot will probably be gone pretty quick, um, considering how hard they're hitting it right now. This could have been just a, a flurry of new bucks coming in during the um, possible third rut with the fawns coming into um, estrus, if there is a few. Um, maybe some of those bucks will kind of like disappear over the course of January, but I don't know. We'll see how, how many stay. I, I highly doubt it, but there might be a couple that'll stay. So yeah, I still got a late season buck tag. I'll I'll either be hunting over this food plot or over this tiny little cornfield right next to a bedding area um, as well, a pick cornfield at this property. Um, so I'll probably get out there a few more times before season's out over. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. I'll catch you in the next video, guys.